So I'm Josh, I'm a PhD candidate at Florida International University studying uh, computer science. My work is about uh, getting computers to extract stories from text. Stories are the things that uh, people use to communicate. We tell stories every day. We use it to share and interact and connect with each other. So they're clearly an important part of uh, humanity and understanding people. This is me a couple weeks ago teaching a computer how to understand stories. So when I tell people that I research the computational understanding of narrative, they ask me if I've seen um, ge automatically generated text, like fan fictions or automatically generated scripts. And I say, yeah, but they are kind of incoherent and kind of racist and sexist. To me, they just look like Mad Libs. Like it's just like a generic script and then the computer fills in random verbs and nouns and there's no coherence between, se between sentences. There's no plot. It's just kind of like random words. And then they, people ask me how computers are racist or sexist. So this is a Twitter bot from Microsoft. Um, this is a tweet that it posted, an anti-Semitic tweet. Can you believe that Microsoft did this? And then here's a sexist tweet that Tay wrote. Um, so part of my research is getting computers to stop doing this stuff. It's horrible, but this bot is learning from Twitter and people post sexist and racist things on Twitter, so the bots learn racist and sexist things. Um, then I asked them if they know about Google's sentiment analysis program. It rates statements for being more positive or negative. So this program rates black and gay people less positive than white people. And here it even rates dogs with higher sentiment than gay people, which is horrible. I was totally appalled when I saw this stuff. I was wondering how could I fix it? <laughs> like, do I really want to be part of a field where um, the computers are generating all this sexist stuff. This is horrible. Um, so like, I was just like really questioning whether NLP and AI is right for me. And then I decided, is there anything that I could do to alleviate these problems, to help prevent them, to help computers to be more tolerant and understanding and less sexist and racist? So the first thought that I had was uh, telling a computer not to say, um, just specific racist utterances, like tell the computer not to say the N-word. But then the computer really wouldn't understand why it shouldn't do that. Like it wouldn't understand that it's a bad word because bad people were using it. Um, so then I decided computers really need to understand the cultural narratives about people. Like there's a reason why you respect and treat people in different ways. And that's usually based off of our cultural narratives and the narratives of our identities. So instead of getting compu giving computers long lists of things not to say, it's better to teach computers about um, how to understand people and how to understand our cultural narratives. Well, to understand cultural narratives, computers need to understand stories and books, just regular storytelling. This is something that children learn from their parents at home. But uh, computers have no understanding of stories. So computers need to be able to understand when a story begins and ends, what the point of view is, narrative digesis, what characters are. So my work is giving a computer a basic understanding of stories, being able to, basically giving it a lit 101, teaching computers like things that everybody in this room is aware of. But back to computationally generated language. I think it's more important to give computers understanding of language versus giving computers um, the ability to generate language. Um, it just, everything that they create is incoherent and racist and sexist and they just have no understanding. So if computers can actually understand, maybe one day they'll be able to produce stories that are compelling, like the stories of Shakespeare, or the stories of J.K. Rowling or Haruki Murakami. And then the real reason computers need to understand stories is so they could understand people, um, be, to stop computers from being sexist, stop computers from being racist, and prevent things like this from happening. Um, we, re we really want computers to be able to support people and to interact with people in a positive way and enhance our lives and not to um, berate us and not to just say hateful things to us. So my goal is to get computers or to stop racist and sexist um, thoughts from entering the consciousness of our artificial intelligence. Like we're producing this, so we might as well make computers more tolerant. Thank you. I'm finishing my PhD in a couple of months and I'm looking for a job in AI and NLP. So if anybody's looking to work with me, let me know.